Hello everybody, this is going to be a tutorial on how to solve the Rubik's Cube 2x2 using the Ortega method. The Ortega method has three steps, which will proceed as follows. First, you choose a face that you want to start on, and solve just those four stickers. So I'm going to choose white, since already two pieces are next to each other, and I'm going to solve the pieces. Like this. This is an intuitive step, which I will go into a little more detail on later. Next, you solve the other side using OLL algorithms for the orientation of the last layer. Like that. And then you use one algorithm to permute every piece and put them in their correct spot. In this case, I need to switch these back two pieces on the top layer, and these two pieces diagonally. So I'm going to use a single algorithm to solve the cube. Simple, right? So what we're going to want to do is choose a side to start on. In this case, I'll choose white, just because that's what a lot of people start on. So you want to find the way to use the fewest moves to create the white face. Usually what I do is I just wing it. Uh, I do a little bit of inspection beforehand. This piece needs to go over here, just because you can easily get white here. We do that. We get white down here. And then this piece over here. This is completely intuitive, and if you can solve the Rubik's Cube 3x3, you can just use your corner placing algorithm. For example, if you have the corner here above where it needs to go, with white on front, you just do your algorithm to insert it. With that trivial step out of the way, next comes the first step with the most algorithms. If you already know the Friedrich method to look OLL, which I have detailed in another video, you will already know all of the cases needed to solve this step. I will not be going into each of these algorithms in this video, considering they are all in the description below the video, as well as in my Tulook OLL video, which will be linked to in the description below. So once you have used your OLL algorithm to orient the top layer corners, what you want to do is recognize which case you have. For each layer, you can have one of three cases. The first one being where two adjacent corners need to switch, the second being where two opposite corners need to switch, and the last one where you need to switch none of them. For the third step of this algorithm, there is only five algorithms that you need to learn. The easiest one being where opposite corners need to be switched. All you need to do is do an X prime to get the top face in front of you. R2, U2, R2. The second case that you can get is where both layers have two adjacent corners that need to be switched. Here and here. You can recognize this case by seeing that there is a full block on the back. You want to hold that block on the back side and then do the following algorithm. R2, U prime, R2. U prime, D prime, R2, U prime, R2. The third case that you can get is where on the top layer you need to switch two adjacent corners and on the bottom layer you need to switch two opposite corners. You orient the cube so that the two matching pieces on the top layer are facing you, and then you do an R, U prime, R, F2, R prime, U, R prime. The fourth case that you can get is where the bottom layer is solved, and the top layer has two adjacent corners that need to be switched. You can use the T permutation, which you should know if you know two look PLL or one look PLL, or you can use this algorithm. Position the two corners that you need to switch on the right side. R, U2. R prime, U prime. R, U2. L prime, U, R prime, U prime, L. And the fifth and final case you can get is where the top face has two opposite corners that need to be switched, and the bottom face is solved. You can solve this either by doing the Y permutation, or any PLL that will switch two opposite corners, or you can use the following algorithm. R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F2, U prime, R, U, R prime, D, R2. If you have the second case I showed you, where two adjacent corners need to be switched on both layers, you hold it so that both solid bars are connected on the back. Then you do the algorithm, and then you turn the top face until it is solved. As you can tell, this is a very easy method to learn, assuming that you already know 2 look OLL and 2 look PLL for the Friedrich method. 
Or, if you don't know either of those two sets of algorithms, learning them for this cube will also help you solve the Rubik's 3x3. With this method, I average about 5 seconds, so you should be able to do that as well, if not better. Here are a few example solves using this method. First, in your 15 second inspection time, you analyze the cube and look for the easiest face to make. In this case, I'm going to choose white. So, you hold the two that are already paired together on the bottom, and you start inserting the rest of them. There is white here, and there is white here. So, put white on the bottom here, like this, and then take this corner and put it down here. Then, you analyze the top. I have the anti soon case, and I will do the algorithm for that. Then you analyze which case you have for the third step. On the top, I have two adjacent corners that need to be switched, and on the bottom, I have two opposite corners that need to be switched. It's easy to tell the two opposite corners because on every side, there will be the opposite colors. As I told you earlier, you put the adjacent bar on front, you put the matching color in the bottom right, and then you perform the algorithm. For this solve, I'm going to use blue. It is very easy to be color neutral with this method. So, I'm going to put the two matching blues on the bottom left, and I'm going to start inserting my corners. Blue, and then blue. Right there. Now, for my second step, I'm going to be using the opposite of blue, which is green, and again, I have the anti soon case. And then, for the third step, I'm going to analyze the case I have. I have two matching pieces here, so I have an adjacent switch on the bottom, and I have opposite colors here, which means I will need a opposite switch on the top. Which means that I can use the third case that I showed you, as long as I do a cube rotation. So, match them on the front, then match them on the side here, and then do the algorithm. For this scramble, I was quite lucky, and I already got three pieces together, and so I'm going to solve the green face first. So there are two things to notice when this kind of thing happens. First, you can recognize the case that you will have on the bottom layer because two of the pieces are already connected. If two pieces are connected like this, you know that you will have a two adjacent corner swap on these two. However, if none of them are connected and you have opposite colors here, then you know you'll have an, uh, an opposite corner switch on the bottom. Another thing I should mention is inserting corners that have the bottom layer color on top. Instead of using what you normally might, placing it above where it needs to go, and then doing the long algorithm, you can also do the following. Instead of placing it above where it needs to go, position it to the left of it, right here, and then do an R2 to bring this piece up and match it, U prime, and then an R2 again. However, as you can tell, now I don't have these two switched anymore. Because, if you look closely at what I did, it's taking this corner and putting it where this one is, and moving this one up. So what you originally recognized as being an adjacent corner swap will now be a no corner swap. Moving on to the OLL, I have the diagonals case, so I will perform the algorithm. And then, since my bottom face is solved, and I have a bar here, I can just do the T permutation, or the algorithm I showed you earlier in this video. And that is how to solve the Rubik's Cube 2x2 using the Ortega method. If you want some tips and tricks on how to more quickly make the first layer, Ro Hessler has made a vid on his channel, and I have linked to it in the description below this video. I have also put all of the algorithms mentioned in this video in the description as well for easy viewing.